What we're gonna be talking about today is how to turn action verbs, let's take the, a simple action verb, kada, to go. So an action verb, of course, is any verb where you're doing something. To open, you know, opening, it's an action verb. To live, living is an action verb. Anything that's not an action verb will be anything that's not in action. For example, to be pretty, yepuda, is not an action verb because you're not doing pretty, you're just to be pretty, you are pretty. Or to be hungry, you're not doing hungry, you just are hungry. So something that describes you or describes something is not an action verb. So anyway, so we want to combine this with a noun, saram, person. We could say something like, ku saram i kayo, that person goes. But what if we wanted to say, a person who goes. In English, we have those these words. We have these words like who or that, like a building that is in Korea, a person who likes kimchi, a person that goes to Korea, a person who studies Korean, right? You can have all these ways to combine verbs and nouns that aren't like this. So you could say something like, 그 사람이 공부해요. That person studies. What if we wanted to say, I like people who study Korean, or even I don't like people who study Korean. Well, we can say, 그 사람을 안 좋아해요. We can directly just say, you know, 그 사람을 좋아해요. So, 그 사람이 공부해요. 그 사람을 좋아해요. That person studies. I like that person. This is how we might say it without knowing any other grammar. If you wanted to say, I like people who study, you might say, 그 사람이 공부해요. That person's studying. And, 그 사람을 좋아해요. I like that person, right? Or you might try to say, 그 사람이 공부하기 때문에. Because that person studies, I like him. But none of them are just saying, I like people who study. So I want to make the sentence, I like people who like Korea. So we're going to start with to like Korea. How do you say to like Korea? Well, first the verb for to like, 좋아하다. And Korea is 한국. So we get 한국을 좋아하다, to like Korea. And then we have I like, 저는 좋아해요. So what we want to say is a person who likes Korea. And I'll tell you how to do this, but I'm just going to show you first. You can kind of see an example. 한국을 좋아하는 사람. So Korean liking person. 좋아해요. And we can stick the 저는, of course, at the beginning of a sentence. 한국을 좋아하는 사람을 좋아해요. I like people that like Korea. Or you could even say, I like fish who like food. You can say anything you want just by switching around the verbs and the nouns and whatever it is you want to say. You don't, it doesn't have to be 좋아해요. It can be dislike. It can be, where is the person who likes Korea? You can use it any way you want, and I'll show you how to do that in today's lesson. If you know how to conjugate adjectives in Korean, to take the verb, for example, 예쁘다, to be pretty, if you can take this and change it into a descriptive adjective to describe something, if you can make this say, a pretty monkey, 예쁜 원숭이, if you can do this, then you can already do this. You just have to learn a new set of rules. The reason is because this literally translates as the exact same as what this literally translates as. And I'll show you what I mean. 한국을 좋아하는 사람, a person who likes Korea. And we can have 예쁜 고양이, a person who likes Korea. And then a pretty cat. So you might think, how are these related? Actually, this literally does not mean just pretty cat. What you can think of this as meaning is a cat who is, because the verb 예쁘다 means to be, so is pretty. Or a cat that is pretty. A person who likes Korea. Does this kind of make sense? What you're doing when you're conjugating a descriptive verb to an adjective is this exact same concept. But when you do this concept with action verbs, you have to add a different ending. So here you can see it's a nun, and here you can see it's just a nian. You don't have to memorize very many rules to conjugate action verbs to adjectives. There's only three, and they're all very simple. You can also think of this the other way, like an adjective, a Korea-liking person. Now we have an adjective, Korea-liking person. So let's talk about how to do this. And the first one we're going to talk about is present tense. Present just means the present right now, currently. So a person who likes Korea, a cat that is pretty, to make the present tense and combine these together, you take a action verb stem. So for the verb kada, remove the ta at the end, and now you have the verb stem. Then all you do is you attach nun, and you're done. With one exception. If it has this letter at the bottom of the verb stem, for example, 살다, to live, and then before you add the ending, you remove the lir. And this is the same for all three tenses we're going to learn today. Present tense, past tense, and future tense. 
So let's look at some examples. People who study Korean are pretty. Let's get pretty first, We are because we already did this. Pretty is yepuda. Study Korean. 한국어를 공부하다. People. 사람. Who study Korean? So let's just look at the rest of the sentence and let's remove this part that we're going to make and first look at the rest of the sentence. People are pretty. 사람들이 예뻐요. We're going to specify what kind of people are pretty. We want to say people who study Korean are pretty or that study Korean. 한국어를 공부. 공부하다 to study is an action verb. So we remove the verb stem, 하다, and then attach 는. 한국어를 공부하는 who studies Korean. 사람들이 people 예뻐요. Pretty. So we have people are pretty. What kind of people? 한국어를 공부하는 사람들이. People who study Korean. People that study Korean are pretty. We're describing a noun. And you can describe a noun with an adjective. This lesson is about, you can also do that with action verbs. So let's say, is there someone you know here? So you go to a party and you, will, you look around and you see no one. We're going to need a few words. We're going to need to say here, yogi. No, which is arda. Is there, ita, to exist. Someone in Korean is, is easy. There's a few ways to say it, but let's just do it with saram, a person. Is there a person who you know here? Looking at the part that starts with who or that, let's break that out first. Who you know. And let's do the other part first. Is there someone here? Yogi e sarami isoyo. So to do that, we take the verb stem by removing the ta. Then it ends in a lir. It ends in this letter, so we're going to remove that too. And then we attach nun. Anen. Yogi e anen sarami isoyo. Is there someone? Here, what kind of person? Is there a no person here? Is there a person that you know? Now let's do something called progressive tense. Ko itta. Progressive because it's something you're currently doing, which is just the action verb stem plus ko itta. It just becomes innan for present tense. So you can say, kongbuhanen wonsungi. A monkey who is studying, or a monkey who studies. Or you can say, kongbuhago innen wonsungi. A monkey who currently is, right now, studying. But I should note that this itta is actually more of a descriptive verb than an action verb. It can function as both. I'm not going to talk about that today, but you only need to learn it becomes innen with this form in the present tense. Okay. 지금 보고 있는 영화가 뭐예요? What is that movie that you're watching right now? I bought an apartment that is in Korea. 아파트를 샀어요. I bought an apartment. What kind of apartment? 한국에 있는. So 한국에 있어요 by itself would just mean it is in Korea. 한국에 있는. I bought an apartment. To describe the apartment, the apartment is in Korea. Or that is in Korea. Okay, the next form we're going to learn, past tense. For example, you could say people who studied Korean are pretty. You could say, is there anyone at the party who you knew? Who is the person that wrote the book? So again, let's break this up again. So who is the person is going to be our first part. That wrote the book is going to be describing a person. So what kind of person are we asking about? Well, the person we're asking about is a person that wrote the book. 사람이 누구예요? Who is person? See, we're going to describe what person we're talking about. Well, the person we're talking about is the person that wrote the book. 책을 쓰다 is to write a book. So we need to combine 책을 쓰다 with the person. To make the past tense, you take an action verb stem, just like before, and you attach either one of two things. If it, the verb stem ends in a consonant, then you'll add un. And if the verb stem ends in a vowel, you'll add a nian. We want to say wrote, so we take the ta away, just like we did before. It ends in u. There's no consonant there, so we just attach a nian. Sun. 책을 쓴 사람이 누구예요? Who is the person who wrote the book or a book? I want to say the pasta that I made did or was not taste good. So how would you say this sentence? Well, what kind of pasta is it? It's pasta that I made. Pasta ga mashi opsosoyo. The pasta was not good. Pasta did not taste good. Now let's describe the pasta. What pasta are we talking about? The pasta that I made. So to say I made mandirda. Notice that mandirda, the verb stem has a lir, this letter in it. So we're going to remove it. Tega mandin. Tega mandin pasta. The pasta that I made. Tega mandin pasta ga mashi opsosoyo. Future tense is very simple. You take an action verb stem and you attach ul if it ends in a consonant, and you attach lir if it ends in a vowel. Hada would become hal, and you have mokta, which would become mok, and then ul. Are there many people who will go to the party tomorrow? We're going to break this up into two parts. Who will go to the party tomorrow? So this is the type of person we're talking about. But first we just need to ask, are there many people? Sarami manayo. So what kind of people? Well, these are people who will go to the party tomorrow. We have neil, tomorrow, patie, kayo. 
just this, tomorrow I'm going to the party. We're gonna change this to modify people. They are people who will go. Where are they going? Well, they're going to the party. So that's how the sentence can be broken up. 오늘, today, 친구한테, to a friend, 줄. 줄 comes from 주다, which means to give. I will give to my friend today. What is it that you will give to your friend today? Well, you will give your friend today a 선물, a gift. 살 거예요, which is just I will buy, no, or you will buy. So if we break this up into two parts in Korean, 선물을 살 거예요, I'm going to buy a present. We can say what kind of present it is. It's a gift that I will give to a friend. 친구한테 줄, I'm going to buy a present that I will give to a friend today. Okay, so I have a quiz, and the quiz is kind of... Um...